Hey everybody, it's Steve with K4S TV Radio, and uh, the sun decided to just come out, the wind's blowing, so hopefully the video will be okay. But uh, we've got a little package here today that I'm going to go ahead and open up, and uh, I was actually looking for a few different options for um, portable masts for um, doing antenna setup out in the field, you know, for uh, parks on the air or summits on the air, things like that. And um, came across a couple of videos of folks talking about different uh, fishing poles and different uh, telescoping like jack kite poles and things like that. So I was looking around and I uh, found um, a couple of videos that were talking about this. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Gochur or Gotour, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, but there's a couple great videos talking about it. I'll uh, see if I can post them on the video here. But uh, anyways, I figured we, I would go ahead and give it a go. Now it's pretty windy out here today, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Um, but uh, let's take a look at it. So it comes in this little bag and uh, I can already tell inside, it feels like there's probably extra tip. Feels like at least if that's, sorry. There we go. Ooh, that wind is blowing. So, uh, looks like it's got sections of the tip here. Just set that there. Uh, that, that's kind of cool. I don't know that I'll be using those sections anyways because um, they are pretty skinny and that's some of the things I saw. Um, so like this top section here as you can see is very flimsy so that wouldn't be good to be attaching onto an antenna. Um, so I kind of anticipate I wasn't going to be using that anyways, but uh, so here's the uh, fishing pole and it's it's called a um, uh, I think it's Kentara or Kentara uh, Japanese fly rod um, Kind of cool actually uh, Really light. I mean it doesn't weigh hardly anything at all. Uh, this is called the like again I'm not sure if it's go tour or go uh, It's the gold light super hard 7.2 meter and uh so let's go ahead and pull it out here it's got a little plug let's put that in my pocket here and uh so starting here here's the Goodness gracious. Okay, so that is that is a long uh, fishing rod. I don't know if you can see how long that is or not, but that is uh, it is definitely out there. I'm not sure if it's a full seven meters, but it sure seems pretty close. Um, on the bottom here. This does come off. And it screws right here from the top or from the bottom. And uh, so that way, as you can see, it'll expose the different parts. So you can actually, uh, like I said, replace the tip or take them apart if you need to. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, figure out a way to, I'm going to take off those top two sections and figure out a way to attach the, uh, the antenna. We'll be right back. Okay, so what I've done, yeah, the sun has moved again. Um, I took out the top three sections that were just like this. Uh, this is the replacement section, so again, it's the top three. Uh, but I opened up 
the uh, bottom here and again all the pieces can slide out from the bottom um, but I took the top three sections out and on this third section and I got this idea again from one of the other videos I watched it was a little bit tricky I was going to try to do it on camera but uh, it was a little bit trickier but I took a piece of paracord and I fed it all the way through that third section on the bottom here I just have it uh, burned and um, I don't know if you can see that it's burned and just uh, kind of made a little knob there so it won't pull through uh, I think that's going to be just fine in that fourth section though and then on the top it sticks through enough with a knot here and that's what I'll be able to actually attach my antenna to and this piece is it's got a little flex to it but it's pretty rigid so I think that's actually going to be okay so let me uh, let me go ahead and get this into the um, pole and and then I'll show it to you when we get back all right, so I got the uh, pole set up, but before I uh, go ahead and extend that and show it to you and and hook up the antenna to it, I wanted to show you what we're gonna try here for a mount for it. Uh, basically, I have um, a copper pipe, <laughs> just uh, drove it into the ground about eight inches or so, and then uh, got about maybe 14 inches or so on top of the ground and then I just put the uh, tape right here around the bottom and then right here the tip and uh, once the pole is extended all the way I take the bottom off and it slides right over top of that and I'll show you that uh, once we get set up. If you can see that uh, just got the paracord off the top and then again this is the third section uh, the top two I took off and then it's uh it's, it's good and nice and taut in there. Uh, and then again, we'll just extend the rest of these out. So again, I've got that just slipped there at the bottom. And uh, definitely, definitely feeling the wind for sure, but it's, that's pretty good. It's up there a good 20 feet. Um, I haven't measured it just yet, but it, it's pretty good. So the wind is definitely having an effect. So we'll see how it goes once an antenna is in there. All right, so as you can see here, I've just got another uh, piece of paracord loop uh, that I have here at the end of the antenna wire, a little clip. And I just have it uh, folded over on itself, create a little slip loop, put that through the knot, or the knot through there rather, tighten it down nice and tight, and that should hold okay. So let's see if we can lift it. So I don't have the antenna stretched out yet, but it is up there. Like I say, as you can see, the wind is definitely having an effect on the pole. It's very, very lightweight. Um, I mean, a lot of, a lot of flex to it, uh, but we'll see. I'll get the, I'll get the uh, antenna stretched out into a sloper arrangement and we'll see, uh, see how it does. November 4, Echo Kilo Bravo. November 4, Echo Kilo Bravo, you're 5, 9 plus in Alabama. Kilo 4, Sierra Tango Bravo, QRP. Kilo 4, Sierra Tango Bravo. Kilo 4, Sierra Tango Bravo. I am QRP in North Carolina, and I've got you 5656, QSL. Okay, you're breaking up just a bit. I got Kilo 4, Sierra Tango Bravo. Sierra Tango Bravo. Roger, roger. Sierra Tango Bravo. Sierra Tango Bravo, you're 55 Alabama. Roger the 55 Alabama. I've got you 56 North Carolina QRP. Roger, I'm 17, thank you. 
7-3. All right, so there you go. Made a contact right there on the antenna. Uh, set up as a sloper with the uh, with the pole. It's definitely flexing the wind, but it's it's holding up just fine, and it did great. So uh, that was five watts right there into. Uh, uh, I think that one is into Alabama, and uh, so doing good. So I hope that helps everybody. I'll try to put some links with the uh, other uh, videos that I saw that gave me the idea for this particular poll, and uh, you should try it. It's going to be great for portable activation. Everybody have a great day. This is Steve with K4STV Radio, signing off for now. <laughs>